My name is uh, Ken Shane and I'm Canadian. I've been traveling by bicycle around the world for over 25 years. I've done all of the Americas, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, through India, and then out Middle East, and it's a long-term project. It's something I always wanted to do, right? I used to work in a lab back in Canada, and uh, I mean, I just hate that kind of work. I mean, it's just uh, the same thing you do every day, and it's not challenging uh, at all. And, to finance the trip, I mean, I have to work, obviously, just like everybody else. So I've been stopping along the way at different places. And among some of the places I stopped was South Africa, and I stayed out there for almost uh, five years. Then continued on, and I worked out in Taiwan, I worked out in Argentina, worked a little bit in the Amazon and the Caribbean. I don't spend very much at all because as you can see, I, I carry a lot of stuff. I mean, I have uh, all my tools and spare parts for the bike, which actually weighs quite a bit. A lot of clothes, I have my stove for cooking, I have my tent, my mattress, whatever I, you need to travel, I, I do carry. Very often you stay in villages meet people and uh, you eat the local food. As you travel by bus you go like from point A from one city to the next city and it's actually in between that you find like really the heart of the country. You know, it's, the local food it's all right but after a while it's nice to have a little change and my cooking isn't all that bad I think. <laughs> God knows how many. <laughs> I must have had, geez, about 300, 400 punctures, for sure, easily too. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing is by far was out in, in the Gambia. It was in 1981. And uh, the, the whole country wasn't stable at all. It was under the, the hands of the revolutionaries. One morning, there's some officers that came in, they had these big weapons, I don't know, big rifles, I don't know what kind of rifles they had, but I mean, they, they just stormed into the room and then they, they had the guns pointing at me and what are you doing here and everything, and they, they actually thought that I was a journalist. So they started to shout at me and I tried to explain to them, no, no, I'm just traveling by bicycle and uh, the guy just wouldn't listen at all and then, no, he said, oh, it's just easy for me just to shoot you and leave you, leave you here, eh? And, you know, it's just moments of un uncertainty. You don't know what's going to happen, the unknown, eh? It's difficult to say what was actually the best, eh? because I really enjoyed everything. Every, every single country has its own things that stands out eh, for you. Because, I mean, it's nice to see sceneries. I mean, the Andes and the Himalayas, Tibet, and, you know, like, it's, it's nice, but I mean, it's basically the people that you meet that makes the trip worthwhile, for sure. Don't do too much planning at all, eh? just go for it. It's just a matter of having more guts than knowledge, I think is more important, eh? <laughs> or preparation about the trip. Eh? <laughs>